Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissu here, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, yakshi mash, and howdy y'all. So today I have a very special unboxing. This was sent to me, something that I purchased from a guy called Nathan. He's a collector and a restorer and a fixer. And uh, he's thinning out his collection a bit. So he put on Facebook a number of vacuums that he wanted to sell. And I saw this and I jumped at the chance to get it because I just thought it was very, very unusual and I loved its design. Now, I was going to be unboxing this with Ben back on the weekend, but we just didn't have time with what we were doing. The time just got away with us uh, with the um, other vacuums that we were unboxing and testing and fixing. So unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm going to do it now for you. It's been a couple of days. And I'm really itchy to get this unboxed. So without further ado, let me get my trusty Stanley knife. This is very, very unusual vacuum, I have to say. Um, but I just, just loved its quirkiness, to be honest. So let's take off the outer bubble wrap. Is on the box. Hang on. Lots of protection on it, which is very good. Just gonna chuck that over there for now. So, being a collector, he knows exactly how to package these up and how to package them up well. So, let's get unboxing. Wow. Yeah, it is very strange. Right. The first thing I'm going to take out is the thing that struck me why I fell in love with it was this. This bag. It is just screaming 1970s. I don't know if it's 1970s. I can't remember the date of it. I'll have to ask him. But I just thought that was really good. Now, some of the writings come off the bag, but it doesn't bother me at all. And this is a Fakir. Klopp. Uh, so, booster, whatever that means. Uh, I'll have to translate it. So that's the outer bag. It's a soft bag, obviously. Here we have part of the handle. Another part of the handle. And the piece de resistance is this. Let me remove the cord and get rid of the box. Now, being a German vacuum cleaner, it does have an adapter with it because it has the German style plug. So I didn't realize that. So thank you, Nathan, for providing the plug. I do have a spare one here, but thank you so much for providing it. So that's great. I can use the original plug. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you guys a little bit closer so you can have a look at this when I open it. So if I take off this bubble wrap, gentle not to damage the machine when I first saw it the first thing I noticed obviously was the bag and then the next thing I noticed was how much it reminded me of a Electrolux uh, there's a little bit of dust in it but it's not a problem at all we can give it a clean out now this is a Fakir type 350 uh, 400 to 500 watts number 35 O two triple one five four O eight made in Germany. It has a metal base plate. It does need a new belt, um, but we got brushes on one side and then a beta bar on the other side. So I know that it. Uh, I knew that it needed a new belt. So this today is just going to be the quick unboxing of it. Here we have the on and off switch. Very nice action handle release there <coughs> suction control on that side <coughs> excuse me so you can decrease the suction I, I believe that will open up a vent on the inside somehow but we'll see that when I open it to give it a good polishing and cleaning up so it's got two parts to the handle 
<coughs> which are plastic very very hard very thick plastic and that is what reminded me so much of it being like an Electrolux um, the 160 and the 170 that I have it just it just looks so much like it in design so I'm gonna put the handle together so very similar to my Electrolux I'm just trying to work out which is top and bottom I don't think it makes much difference pop that in there so this one this vacuum cleaner like my Electrolux 160 and 170 the dirt comes through the handle so let me release the handle so you can see little screws on the side oh, that must be to lock the bag in and out so these got these plastic screws it'll be fun we'll give this a good clean it doesn't need retro brighting or anything the plastic is still uh, fine now we're going to attach the bag so if I slide off the top oh unfortunately the bag is split is it I think this bag is split hmm let's give it a shake out just a little bit of dust on the inside, never killed anybody. Well, maybe. <laughs> so there's a clip on the bottom here where you clip on the bag. Uh, let's make sure, yep, I got it on the right way. Clip goes on like so. Now this bag, let me check. I can't see any splits in it. I think that might be from the um, previous bag. Let me just vacuum this up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to worry too much about it at the moment because it does need some cleaning up. So what I'm going to do is pop the bag inside the outer cloth bag. That fits. There's an orange thing here which clips the... the bag to it and then I twist it and then that holds the cloth bag into place then the paper bag fits over there just doesn't seem to be any clip holding to hold the bag into place so I might have to fashion something with some sugru so that it will hold that bag to the pipe and then hopefully it won't leak anywhere so let me just pop on the bag holder at the top that slides on like so now the one feature about this I did like as well is that it does actually have a headlight so let's plug it in I 
got my cable on knotted up. There we go. It's quite a long cable on it actually. For the time for its age. I guess because maybe German rooms were houses were are bigger. Oh my gosh, this is in a knot. Right. There we go. Let's plug it in. And switch it on and you'll see. <laughs> Definitely needs a new belt on it. The belt is as weak as anything. So what we'll do is put a belt on it. Let's take a flat screwdriver. Oh, actually, let me unplug it first. Take a flat screwdriver. This is just like the Electrolux, so I do have belts that will fit this. This could do with all lubricating in the bearings. Not a problem. Right. And this has a guard. And I need to be able to take the guard off to get the belt through. Just vacuum out some dust. Uh, no, I'm just trying to find the way. Ah. I can see here the suction valve, so if I turn it this way, you get full suction. You can see inside there. So if I set it to number five, that will give you full suction. And then that opens the valve in there, so you get less suction into it. So I'm going to put that back onto five. Mm, quite a narrow air path. I'm just trying to find a way now ah, there we go that slides out right let me find a belt okay so I found a belt so I'm just gonna pop that through this and then slide it back into its groove Pop one end of the belt around the belt pulley. It's quite a narrow. There we go. Excellent. I will just as I've got it out. Just drop a little bit of oil. Oops. Into these bearings. Any cleaning out, but it'll help lubricate them a bit. around the brush roll this is gonna be a bit of a fight but we'll get there in the end I'm looking to see any specific markings I'll put it there for now
There we go. Perfect. Pop this back on. So that clips around the front. Screws in. Excellent. Let's just plug it back in. Just test that. Much better. It's actually got, <coughs> it's actually got quite good suction on it. Now, let's just pop it on the floor. This is Noel's favorite part, because he always wants to know what's going on. That is really good. Oh, wow, Noel, you're missing out on so much. <laughs> So there we go, look at that. With its lovely headlight on it as well. Now, just a quick unboxing and demo. So let me get it on the floor. Let's get some a little bit of mad about mess and let's see how it copes. Okay, so I sprinkled some mess down on the floor on the thick pile carpet and also the shorter pile carpet let's give it a run around it's very very light that's one thing i have to say about it okay let's give it a go <laughs> That was really good. Fantastic suction on it. It was sticking to the carpet. It was um, bunny hopping on the thicker pile carpet because the carpet was kind of thick. So it was sticking to it and then bunny hopping along. Very, very good. Absolutely fantastic. Right, okay, let's get it back on the desk. Well, what a star. That really did a good job. I can't wait to get this fixed up. Uh, cleaned up really and uh, give it a proper full house demo and uh, see what I can do about the bag but uh, I loved it I love it it's so light and it just reminds me so much of the Electrolux the 160s and the 170s that I have upstairs now I'm sure this 
this this is 400 to 500 watts and I'm sure the other Electroluxes upstairs they don't have that much power I'm sure they're only something like maybe 200 250 watts I'll have to get them down here with this and I'll we'll do a demo with the three of them but uh, as soon as I saw this I was like wow I love it absolutely love it I can't wait to get it all fixed up so I will be doing this very soon because this is quite exciting <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing and very quick demo here of this Fakir 350. Um, I will have to ask Nathan if he can let me have the date on it because I can't remember what the date was. Or if anybody else as well sees this, can you let me know? Probably, I'll know by the time this goes out, I'll, I'll, I'll have the idea of um, all, you know, all the details. But again, Nathan, thank you very much for offering this. I will definitely be looking after it and it will be part of the collection because the Electroluxes, the 170 and the 160, they do mean a lot to me. So they will be, so this will be, I should say, this will be kept company with them and they will be together in the collection upstairs in the Hoover room. Fantastic, I just love it. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. I've got a heap of content I've already done and there's lots more videos to come as well. So until then, I bid you auf Wiedersehen, mein Freunden, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.